to leave brought to you by Christ Holy Church International Odozio Budo every Wednesday 12:30 to 1 p.m. here on Odenibo 99.1 FM Good afternoon dear listeners I welcome you to Born to Live a radio program brought to you by Christ Holy Church International Nation Builders Odozio Budo on this station 99.1 FM Odenibo Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, I pray that the Almighty God will meet you and touch you in a special way. Amen. Are you sick? Are you facing life-challenging situations? Are you barren? I urge you to tune in into this program. And before the end of this program, our God who is abundantly able will deliver you in Jesus' name. I am your friend and your host for today, Senior Channel Mrs. Ifoma Blessing Obi, and I am representing our generous superintendent, His Eminence, the Most Reverend Dr. Daniel Oko. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, internal rock of ages, we thank you for the privilege to come before you today. Lord, we pray that you give us the ear to listen and the heart to accept your word. Lord, we pray, Almighty God, that at the end of this ministration, that your children will be richly blessed and filled with testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our today's topic says, terminating negative genetic patterns. And our text will be taken from the book of Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 8. The book of prophet Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8. I read. In that day declares the Lord Almighty. I will break the yoke of their necks. And I will tear off their bounds. No longer will foreigners enslave them. Amen. Hallelujah. When we talk about genetic. It is also hereditary or genealogy. When we talk about patterns. It is a sample from which a replica copy can be produced. So when we talk about the genetic patterns, it means a situation that keeps reoccurring in a family in a negative way. We have so many negative genetic patterns like premature death, late marriage, barrenness, stagnancy, rejection, hatred, poverty, rising and falling, disappointment, and so many of them. But today, by the special grace of God, the Holy Spirit will be leading us to learn about the major causes of these negative genetic patterns. Firstly, we'll be talking about evil traditions. There are so many evil traditions that people or families engage themselves in. It can be in the kindred, it can be in the family. Blood will be shed, holds will be taken, covenants will be made, initiation will be made. And in future, where the next generation will not able to adhere to that evil tradition, they will begin to suffer the consequences and the repercussions. There are families that on an annual basis, there must be a bloodshed in that family whereby the family would have to come together in form of maybe a mass return. It can be in Christmas, it can be in New Year, it can be in Easter. They will feast and eat, not necessarily going to the shrine. It is done right there in the compound. There are some families that when they give birth, be it a male child, be it a female child, it, that child must be taken to a certain river to bathe. There are so many evil traditions that are done in the family. There was a young man that whenever he seems himself in the dream, baiting, according to him, he said some women will bait him and after baiting him, they will feed him some certain meat. And when he wakes up in the physical realm, his business will fall. His contracts will be held his containers will be seized. And this continued until when he had an encounter with Christ's holy church. 
and through the power of the Holy Spirit, it was revealed to him that he should ask his parents the type of tradition that is being done in that family on an annual basis. That if that tradition is not being broken, if that covenant is not being broken, that his business will not flourish. I don't know the kind of tradition that your family is engaged into. I don't know the kind of situation that you are facing around you. Child of God, as you listen to this ministration today, I want you to know that God is calling you that you should stand up and take a bold step, make a move to find out the cause of that very trial, the cause of that very tribulation that you are facing. And I am telling you that through the power in the grace and mercy of God, that you and your household will be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Then secondly, we'll be talking about fear of unknown. You can see that in the book of Genesis chapter 20, verse 1 to 16. Fear of unknown. Fear of death. Fear of not being able to build a house. Fear of not being able to prosper in the business. Fear of protection has made so many people to go to occultic altars to seek protection, to seek breakthrough. And in the process, you know, there is something about all these altars. When they start giving you that your heart desire, they will not include the sacrifices that is involved. Maybe it will take four years, three years, five years. And by that time, the sacrifices that is needed will be made known. And if you're not able to meet up with that sacrifice, that family, that generation will begin to suffer negative genetic pattern. There was a young lady that whenever it's time for her bride price to be paid, the suitor will disappoint her. The suitor will stop calling her. And when she came to Christ Holy Church for prayers, the Holy Spirit revealed that she should ask her mother what her mother did immediately after their father died. Out of the fear of unknown, the mother of this young lady, when she lost her husband, out of fear, she went to an occultic altar to submit the names of her children for protection so that her children will not die. And after five years, that altar demanded a sacrifice. Like I said earlier, there is nothing free that comes from the devil. It is only God that gives his blessing, which added no sorrow. And when this lady asked the mother and the mother opened up, that was the beginning of their liberation. Child of God, you do not have to submit to the fear of what is happening around you. You do not have to submit to the fear of the situation that you are facing in your family. Because the Bible makes us to understand that God has not given us a spirit of fear or timidity. You are created in God's image. You are God's image and therefore you are meant to be a terror to the kingdom of the devil. Whatever situation that you are facing, you should focus your attention on the cross of Calvary. You should focus your attention on Jesus Christ because that is where your salvation lies. Jesus will not give you protection that will not last forever. Jesus will not give you a blessing that will bring pains and sorrow to you. Child of God, I pray for you that whatever situation that has bring fear into your life, whatever situation that has bring fear into your family, before the end of this ministration, such situations shall be destroyed and removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then thirdly, we'll talk about covetousness, lust, and greed. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 2 to 5 and 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 1 to 4 covetousness when you are not satisfied when you are not contented with what you have 
the properties, the land, the money that you collect out of diabolic means with oppression. Maybe because the, 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 the king of that community is your friend. Maybe because the, the person in charge of land in that community is your friend. Maybe you had a business deal with your partner. And because you feel he doesn't have connection in the courts. He doesn't have connection with any lawyer. You convert those properties. What if at the end of your stay on earth, the properties that you collected that does not belong to you, your generation will begin to suffer the causes that the owners of those properties must have made. There was a young lady that came to the church for prayers. She said her elder brother is about to build a house. He's in abroad and he's felt very sick. That in fact, they're about to bring him back. That let the church pray so that God Almighty will preserve the life of the brother. So according to, the, according to what she was saying, that her father wanted to build a house and died. And now her brother is about to start building and the brother is sick. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, a prophecy was given to her that let her go to her hometown and meet her grandfather and ask the grandfather that that land, that family land that they are about to build on, how did he get it? And the grandfather opened up to her that that land belongs to his brother because the brother gave birth to only female children and he has about four boys. And so he decided to convert the brother's property to his own. And the brother died out of frustration and depression. But you know something in life? Justice can be delayed. But definitely justice will prevail. Even if it takes a thousand years. And you see, this man was alive and he buried his sons. His sons died one after the other in his presence. That is negative genetic pattern. And after burying his sons, his grandchildren, his grandsons, he was still alive as a grandfather, and his grandsons were dying one after the other. Whatever property that does not belong to you, whatever wealth that does not belong to you, that you collected and there was tears that was shed and there was a heart that was broken remember that when you are no more your children your grandchildren your generation will be there to face the consequences but i pray to you child of god listening to this ministration that the god of odozio but the god of nation builder that he will locate you and deliver you and your family from every form of negative genetic pattern in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, we'll be talking about indisciplined character. Indisciplined character and upbringing. You see, whatever character that you are living now whatever ungodly lifestyle that you are living now in the next 50 years will become an ancestral cause because you want to get rich by all means you are living in the present you are not thinking about 10 years to come you are not thinking about 20 years to come you are not thinking about 30 years to come what matters to you is what you want at the moment your mates are getting married, you want to get married by all means. Your mates are traveling abroad, you want to travel abroad by all means. And therefore, you look down, you do not bother about the repercussion, about the consequences. Yes, you might succeed to travel. Yes, you might succeed to get married. Yes, you might succeed to build that house, to buy that car, to establish that business. But what will it profit you? when you gain the whole world and you lose your soul when you look at proverbs chapter 29 verse 15 and first samuel chapter 2 verses 12 to verse 36 you will discover that this very indiscipline 
and a bad upbringing, ungodly character, it does not only lead to death, but it will make that destiny, that generation, their destiny to be thwarted. It will make that generation, they will not be able to fulfill their purpose on earth. Because the foundation of their life was not built on Christ. Because the foundation of that family was not built on Christ. Child of God, whatever that you are seeking, be it wealth, be it connection to travel abroad, is it marriage, marriage, is it that you're seeking for the fruit of the womb, whatever that you seek, I want to assure you that God is able and abundantly able to grant it unto you. Do not step out. Do not step out from the calling of God. Do not step out to look for solution where there is no solution. Abide in Christ and he will grant you your hard desires so that you and your family will not suffer any form of gene negative genetic pattern in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe that through this ministration, that God Almighty has opened our eyes and opened our minds in order for us to be able to know the causes of these negative genetic patterns and for us to be able to avoid them. I would like you to join me in this prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, Father, in Jesus' name, in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we bless your holy name for this ministration today, telling us about negative genetic patterns and the causes. Everlasting Father, Lord, we pray that as your children who has come to you today with their hearts open to accept Christ and for them to stop anything that might bring such negative genetic patterns, Lord Almighty, we pray that you show forth your grace, that you show forth your mercy, Lord, that you deliver your children. Father, every form of bondage, every form of ancestral cause, is it premature death? Is it sickness? Is it rising and falling? Is it stagnancy? Is it late marriage? Is it abject poverty? Is it madness? Lord, in any way, in any form, that their family is being troubled, that their business is being troubled, that their personal life is being troubled, Lord, we pray that you deliver and liberate them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare, oh Lord, that whosoever that is under the sound of my voice, that you, the God of those you will visit their families. Father, that you will visit every of their hometown. Father, that you will uproot. Father, every principalities and powers that does not glorify your name. Every ancestral tree that is bearing fruit, fruit of negative genetic pattern. Lord Jesus, as your word said, that any tree that is not planted by you must be uprooted. Lord, let that evil tree today be uprooted and destroyed permanently in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as your word said, that there's no enchantments against Jacob, nor divination against Israel. Lord, I declare, oh Lord, that through the power and the blood of Jesus, every charm, every cause, every territorial demon, every environmental spirit that has been tormenting whosoever that is under the sound of my voice, that today, oh Lord, such spirits shall be destroyed and cast out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because we know, Father, that you have granted us victory. Lord, we thank you because we know that you have liberated your children today. Lord, may your holy name be exalted. Father, any sin that will stand as a barrier, Father, look upon the cross of Calvary. Lord, have mercy. Let our prayers be answered. In Jesus' most powerful name we have prayed. Amen. Child of God, you are blessed child of God, you are lifted. Child of God, the condition of your family has been changed. Your story has been changed. Child of God, your testimony has come and there is no power, no man, no woman that will stop it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By God's grace, same time next week on this station, 99.1 FM Odeniwo, we will be talking about the part B of this administration and we'll plead your indulgence that you would tune in and join us. Child of God, I want you to know that your deliverance and your liberation doesn't just end 
on this radio broadcast there are some things that you need to do you need prayers and you also need to have a personal a one-on-one -on -one divine encounter with jesus so i want you not to harden your heart if at all there is any way that you have deviated or that you have gone against the will and the commandments of god now is the time of grace now is the time of mercy and if at all you are confused because of the situation in your family you are confused because of the things that is happening in your life you are confused about your business you are confused about your son your daughter child of god this ministration is brought to you so that you will move out from your comfort zone so that you will move out and meet our lord jesus christ who is able to give you a permanent solution to that problem child of god i want you to know that a thousand years in the sight of man is like a day in the sight of god it doesn't matter how many years you have been suffering from this negative genetic pattern but god is promising you that with you from you that such negative genetic pattern will come to an end that god will use you to bring to an end that poverty that barrenness that sickness that rising and falling that failure that delay in marriage that disappointment this ministration god is telling you that through you that your family will be liberated that through you the glory of god will shine upon your family that through you that the glory of god will radiate upon your family and child of god i want you to know that the glory of god has come to you today and after this ministration wherever you step your feet upon you will conquer wherever you step your feet upon you will have dominion wherever you step your feet upon you will have favor men will favor you women will favor you that door that has been closed will be open and the bible says lift up your heads all ye gates every ancient gate that has been an hindrance every ancient door that has been an hindrance to your progress to your upliftment because you are under the sound of my voice that ancient gate has been lifted today in the mighty name of jesus that ancient door has been lifted today in the mighty name of jesus christ so please i want you to make up your mind create out time for personal prayers for counseling and prophecy we have ministers of god we have prophets of god that would attend to you one-on-one -on -one personally every friday from 12 p.m to 5 p.m at christ holy church international number five Peggy, barrack street on nature but if also you cannot come because of one circumstances or the other you can also reach us on this number 070-66-43-48-71 or 080-853-33-870. I'll call the number again. 070-66-43-48-71. Or 080 85 Born to Live brought to you by Christ Holy Church International, Odozio Bodo, every Wednesday, 12.30 to 1 p.m. here on Odenibo 99.1 FM.